Welcome back, guys. Um, we uh, This is the Pinnacle Tournament, of course, and we are in day one of the group stages. Uh, we just saw uh, D2 defeat Firebat, and now he's going to advance. We can look at, take a look at the brackets later, but now it is uh, time for Hyped and Jab to go head on head to see who will bring the uh, first series. Um, so how did you think overall about that last series, uh, Strife? Well, it was a nice, it was a nice match. We got to see almost all all the decks. Um, mm -hmm. It was nice. Got to the end three two, and we got to see like all the dynamics of of the coup format. And, like they both kind of held it off at the end, mm -hmm. uh, and it kind of made sense for both of them. So, yeah, that's true. So, um, hopefully, we can see the uh, uh, bracket screen uh, screen pop up right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, we're only going to be able to uh, play four games here, as you can see. So D2 did advance at the top. Oh, oh my god. Uh, Firebat should be at the bottom there. We'll have it fixed um, after this. <laughs> but yeah, um, there are going to be four games played. So whoever loses both of their games are actually out. If you get, if you play, um, you know, if you win two games, you're automatically through to the semifinals. And if you go 1-1, one, one, you are still going to the playoffs, but you go to the quarterfinals instead. So, um, you know, just something that we can make uh, the days a bit smoother. So, um, yeah, there you go. And um, we're going to move on to Jab and Hype's uh, uh, decks soon, when we can. There yeah. we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. We don't... I don't... I haven't... Yeah, I, haven't um, I mean, I see all our decks. I guess I haven't seen that much of Jab. He's kind of a newer player to the tournament scene. Um, right. Guess we were talking about him a little bit, like his... Seem to have a really cool shaman deck, and mm -hmm. he is bringing this, the shaman to to the tournament as well. Oh, and we see hype with mage, which is cool. Mage is like my favorite class recently, and it's really interesting for me to see all the different types of mage because mage is like the class with the probably the most variation right now. I guess if you don't count warlock with zoo and yeah, Animal. yeah, warlock the demon lock is kind of like you know edging on to, and uh, we'll see if anybody brings a demon lock. That, that's something I want to see in action. You know? <laughs> Yeah, but um, I heard that uh, I heard that Jab did really, really well with the Shaman in the qualifiers, uh, because I mean, sure, apparently everybody's bringing Mech Mage, and I think Shaman is a good contender to actually beat that deck, right? That's only one of the top decks right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've never played the matchup really. Oh, Shaman really? is just so rare a ladder. Yeah, that's I've never true. Never see Shamans, but we'll see. I don't know what their really strengths and weaknesses are right now. All right, but we see a lot of classes represented here. Uh, Hyped also has the Rogue, of course. Uh, Hyped being like the Rogue player. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is, every time I play Hyped and Ladder, he's like a Rogue. Like, every single time. He just like seems to be... He's just a Rogue in real life. <laughs> he's a Rogue in real life? Okay. He just is That's a rogue, how you yeah. like describe his yeah. face. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well then, okay. But yeah, uh, we just got word from the admins that uh, hype stream actually uh, went down for a bit. So we're going to go to a uh, quick break, I think. Uh, so once that gets fixed up, we'll actually start the match. Uh, we'll be right back. Guys.
And welcome back, guys. Hopefully, we fixed some problems uh, with the uh, streams and stuff like that. But uh, we are back. And uh, once again, it's going to be Jab versus Hyped for our se uh, second series of today. Um, there are a couple of people asking about the format, so uh, we will um, you know, go to that again. Uh, let's go to the decklist screen and once again check out what they're bringing. But with the coup format, it's very simple. Um, each player just blind picks as normal, you know, just choose a deck and then you queue into it. And then at the start of every game, you could use your coup, which is basically the bomb, to um, eliminate your opponent's deck for the rest of the series. Um, so for example, you play Rogue and you're playing against a Handlock, that's a very, you know, valid scenario that might happen here. Uh, Hype can choose to ban the Warlock for the rest of the game, and he can just use the Rogue for the next match instead. Um, but of course, this is only going to be usable once, and only at the start of the match. So if you confirm the mulligans, you cannot use it anymore for that game. Yeah, and actually it's cool that maybe you can even use the coup for another purpose. And that's if you don't like your starting cards, you can just go ahead and coup just to avoid playing with those cards. Right, yeah, that's I mean, right. You can, then, you can actually mulligan like, them, but, you know, yeah. just, just... You lose the mulligan too. Mm -hmm, yeah, you, exactly. you, can, you can try to do that with, like, it's, an, it's, it's like a second mulligan that you can use it for. Yeah, right? yeah exactly. You just mulligan the whole game away. <laughs> mulligan the whole game. <laughs> that's one way to put it. Uh, that's actually a very nice way to put it. So uh, we're going to hop onto the game as soon as they can start. But, uh, yeah, looking at the um, looking at the matchups, who do you think is the favorite here? Hmm... I'm not sure. Like so many of these uh, classes are so unknown for me. Mm -hmm. uh, things like mage and shaman and also rogue. So many of these things, like it's hard to even know what deck lists these are, right? Because there's so many different kinds of mages, shamans, and rogues. I think like there's not really a like a the most common type. Like they're all kind of unknown classes, right? Like we don't know. Look like whether it's Miracle Rogue or I don't know. I mean, see all the all kinds of rogues now. That's true. Of. So I guess GVG has definitely shaken things up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, sure you're playing a rogue, but what kind of rogue is it, right? Um, Sometimes I see rogues without Gadgetzan now. Some have Gadgetzan. It's like they're all kind of mid range, but you know, who knows? Oh, Neptulon, <laughs> game started. Oh, baby, <laughs> Neptulon is in the house. But I think these um, cameras are switched around because Jab mm -hmm. is the one playing the shaman. So okay. um, just uh, just to let you guys know, but uh, Neptulon is definitely one of the um, more interesting cards to come mm -hmm. out. And of Wait, course, uh, so who's the bottom? Hyped this bottom. What class is that? I can't tell from the cards. Yeah, the cards are all neutral, but it looks like a druid based on the little horns. <laughs> like if you see that. <laughs> oh yeah, there's... no, you see the top, the top screen. You see the like, shapeshift. Yeah, oh, okay. So, uh, that Wait, is so definitely it's a druid, druid with yep. blood knight. <laughs> it's a blood knight druid. Druid in blood knight and uh -huh. in Norichine as well. That's uh definitely something uh different as well. Yeah. So yeah, like GG's changed so many things. Like we don't even know how we don't even know so many of these decks. It's kind of hard to call everything. Mm -hmm. Well, um, pretty bad start for Jab here. I mean, double Argus and Crack oh, was yeah. difficult to see. Um, no. it looks like um, looks like uh, Hype has a better starting hand there too. Uh, he he does keep the uh, Blood Knight because he has the Noitron. Maybe he's trying to, um, you know, just get a big Blood Knight. Oh, Argent Squire. Right. Perfect opening now. Well, perfect for building up the Blood Knight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, good thing. Oh, um... the Blood Knight, though, because of Hex and Earthshock. Maybe he just. Oh, oh, oh my oh. God. This is insane. Wow. There we go. This is the deck, man. Okay, I don't even know what will happen. <laughs> <laughs> Stripe Core is officially confused. I don't even know. But yeah, uh, I mean... Well, uh, there you go. There's the Harvest Golem. That's a pretty good 3-drop, right? Oh my god! Double Hobgoblin! So what do you do here? Um... Um, you tell me. <laughs> I mean, you have to think that your Hobgoblin is... probably gonna die to a Lightning Bolt or Rock Bite, right? So it's kind of hard to play it. So he just goes for a 9-9 Blood Knight, and Jab has no answer for it. Wow. All right. Um, I guess the since the Blood Knight did soak up the Divine Shield, uh, right. the um the Inner Child is gonna die here. So there you go. Okay, so this taunt is gonna be really important, so you don't take nine damage. <laughs> nine uh, damage is not something you want to take. Wait, wait, wait. 
You can actually hobgoblin coin echoing is. Or you can just save the coin for later because you also get like the um the value from the value teacher as well. Like just summon a one one, why not? Mm -hmm. Or wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like a... You could actually double hobgoblin. And then does the roots get double buffed? I guess it does. Isn't that I mean that it's kinda cool, but it's kinda too greedy, I think. Okay. Well, wait, it's wait, not greedy wait. too, right? Does Hobgoblin buff the Violet Teacher one ones? No, oh no, right? no, no! Wow, if it did, then unleash the Hounds Hobgoblin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's only yeah. it's only actual creatures. Yeah. So yeah, it is a little weird because if you go Hobgoblin coin echoing is you know your opponent doesn't have Hex or Earth Shock because you're nine nine sticking around. So it's even if you get Lightning Storm, your nine six probably survives. I'm not sure. Well, it's either a Lothap here or a Nazdrick here. I mean, it's five drop, uh, nothing too special. Oh, it's just working on the nine, the nine six. Yeah, I guess. Don't want mm -hmm. it to just you know die like like that. And there you go. There we see the combo, man. Okay. Two three fours, and a two three that you have to kill. Oh, it's looking like Jab's just dead. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I guess that's it. Much, maybe I don't know. He doesn't have. A good answer to this. I guess you can oh. crackle the nine four um, trade off to kill the Violet Teacher. What's scary, Violet Teacher or Hobgoblin? <laughs> because they're both kind of scary. Yeah, I think that's one of the hidden powers of Hobgoblin is that it has kind of taunt, right? You have to kill it. Uh, yeah. I guess you can kill both with Rock Fighter. Right? Yeah, you can kill it with Rock Fighter as well. Uh, wow, you're s spending so many resources playing the catch up game. Oh, four. Okay. Wow. It rolled the exact lowest. Thank God there was a spell power to him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I guess it looks like Jab did manage to kill big threats, but there's still two three fours, which is still, you know, that's that's just really strong still. And of course, um, Hobgoblin can work oh, on wow. the Neutron here. Uh, and can he can also go Hobgoblin, Cobgoblin, and Neutron, and Power World? Wow. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course, yeah. I think I think that's an insane. Like, that's basically a like Sunwalker, right? <laughs> oh wow! It's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> turned into a Sunwalker. Yeah, it's it did turn into a Sunwalker. I guess you kill a Totem with your face, right? I think you have to kill the spell part to them. I think you you, you will get punished by um the um lightning storm a little bit here, so it's not. Oh, I just created his own Sunwalker. It's like create your own Sunwalker. Oh, like Earthshock just destroys the Neutron though. Yeah, with with the Aldrich, yeah, it does. So I guess that's the weakness of uh, the create your own Anoitron strategy. Is oh, it's, is that, it's not real? Okay. Yeah, it's not a real Sunwalker. Because uh -huh. a real Sunwalker still survives. <laughs> real oh. Sunwalker still survives, of course. <laughs> okay, so do you take, which, what do you, what do you take out here? The bigger creature or the Hobgoblin? I wonder what he chooses. But either well, way, it's looking like very close to lethal. Does does uh does two go three in a druid like, I, does this deck run druid the claw? I would assume no. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Never does seen it... this stuff before. Yeah, but I mean, Jack's it, it... Grace is that he has Argus, right? If he does manage to clear the board, he can kind of stabilize maybe with the Argus. Sure. Let's take out the hobgoblin. The innovate is oh, actually a dead card. Dead here. And then do Harrison Jones because Sean might have Doomhammer. In fact, we did see a Doomhammer, but I think you still have to play your Harrison. Yeah, you just have to. I mean, you're playing around two cards, right? You either play around Doomhammer or you play around Lightning Storm. Uh -huh. so in in got, fact, can... like Doomhammer isn't exactly useful here, anyways, right? Because Sean's too low. You can never punch creatures anymore with Doomhammer. Right. I guess Doomhammer can go face, but other than that, it's kind of useless, anyways. Oh wow. Feral Spirit is a pretty good draw here. That is a draw to save the save the game. So Feral Spirit plus Azure Drake? I don't see a point in taunting them. Yeah, three kind of equals five? four here. It's kind of yeah, weird. Exactly. Wait, I mean, oh, you're dead, right? Are you dead? Oh, you're just dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're just dead. <laughs> you're just dead. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> uh, that was uh, anticlimactic. I guess he had to um, hero power to... Um, Get a two goal for a taunt totem, but man, this hyped uh, Hobgoblin deck is actually doing something pretty insane. Yeah, so, um, that was a complete steamroll. I think it was basically 
the nine nine blood knight with no answer. Oh yeah, the blood knight they kind of uh you know make the game snowball pretty quickly. There was no hex, uh there was no earth shock, so that blood knight really did a, did a lot of work. But uh now we're going to um take a little break guys. The lag is um kind of insane. So we're gonna um you know work something out. Uh do be patient with us. We're just gonna fix it up so the viewing experience is a little bit better. We'll be right back guys.
And welcome back, guys. Uh, hopefully, we fixed uh, some, you know, situations of the streams and all, and it's looking good. But uh, we'll just have to see when we're in game. So once again, to recap, Hyped did beat uh, Jab's Shaman with a very interesting Hobgoblin and Blood Knight Divine Shield craziness <laughs> deck. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens now. Unfortunately, we didn't even get to see Jab's Shaman work because there's some really cool things in it, like Neptilon, and we never really got to see how that went since uh, mm -hmm. just got straight up run over by. <laughs> By the yeah, it just got blown out. It's just got to yeah, blow. yeah, yeah. Basically, like there's like a nine nine blood knight followed by like some hobgoblin turns after. It's like the scariest thing ever. Make your own sunwalker, you know? Like yeah. wow. So um, Jab will have to pick one of these uh, classes to kind of like uh, deal okay. with it. So what do you think he'll pick against this? Because hobgoblin deck. Yeah, I think <laughs> warrior's good, good, right? Yeah, you can just because chop you can off just axe the, the hobgoblin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think up. I'll pick warrior into this druid. Even though it's, it's weird, not like right? A actually, druid, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like normally usually you don't weird. want to. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think I'll play Warrior actually. Uh -huh. it, it seems like such a good, you know, just chop it. And if you don't yeah. actually have fireworks in your starting turn, you might even consider using a coup. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty smart. That that yeah, way you can use a coup, like I said, but where you kind of use it as like it's, another bull game. Right. Um, yeah. So once again, guys. Mid -range the the coup, um, it's actually uh, Strafko put it in a very easy way. Coup is basically a mulligan for the entire game. So if you want to like just defeat your opponent's deck right there, you can use it, and then um, their opponent's deck is defeated and they can't use it again. So it's like a free win, but they both have it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we'll go hop onto the game as soon as it's ready, and um, we'll see what Jab um, can respond to this uh, instead. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, there okay. you go. Game started. Right. It is what is it's Hobgoblin Goblin Mirror. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not. It's wait, not. they're both a Hob. Oh, wait, it's a. <laughs> no, man, it's just a. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is going on? Two both people both Hob Goblin. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. I don't think it's even possible to have like the exact oh, starting hand with exact positioning. Like, it's, you, know, yeah. you know that Jab is okay. playing a warlock. Because okay. my first intuition is like, whoa, what? It's like Hobgoblin the mirror. Yeah, that would be the first uh, thing that go like, uh, you know, it's kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, it is kind oh, of so like a zoo. Okay, okay, okay. It, it's right, zoo okay. It's Hobgoblin the Druid. Yeah. And, uh, um, that makes sense because. Yeah. It makes sense to pick zoo, right? Because. Um, You'd expect that Hobgoblin is just a liability, right? It's like Zoo is always having board, like you always try to have board control, and right. you'll just kill the Hobgoblin immediately, right, with one of your creatures. So it makes sense. Exactly. I wonder uh, how Hobgoblin does in this matchup. Well, three mana, you can um, probably play the. Uh, okay, it's not exciting, never mind. It's pretty bad. Do you really play the Undertaker there, out there just to die? Uh. I mean, does it die? Oh, I mean, because it dies the hero part, right? Yeah. Uh huh. I think you have to play something, your zoo. So I think the Ooh, knife juggler is also okay. Knife juggler plus undertaker. I actually prefer Siak going at least plus Undertaker. I don't think you hold Undertaker. You feel that if Druid has the hero power here, then you're fine anyways, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Druid, is, yeah, yeah. Druid doesn't really want to say just remove your. Uh, Undertaker with hero power. I think it's too slow for Druid. You know, you have to do stronger moves than that, so. And, uh, wow, double Hobgoblin. So, that's not really good. I mean, if you play a Hobgoblin just by itself, it's just gonna die. Yeah. Well, I mean, in this board, it's not that bad, right? It means still yeah, trace it's all through. Perfect here, in a way. Because 2 I 3 is. Mm. I mean, it's as strong as a 3 3 here, pretty right. much, right? Yeah, I guess, I guess Hobgoblin like, yeah. isn't that weak for a creature, actually. It's almost, like, costed normally, I guess. Right, because 3 minute you're mostly expecting to get a 3-3. Three, three. Right. But if you get it to proc, if you get it to proc, it's a 4-5. So, you know, the yeah, exactly. upside is pretty big. But oh, unfortunately, wow, hand is just up, terrible. Leaves up oh. Hobgoblin. And unfortunately for Hype... Like, Jab took the risk of leaving up Hobgoblin, but there's no uh, one attack minions in Hype's right. hand, so... 
And now, wow, because, double Hob Goblin. So if we see, like, any one drops, one attack yeah. drops, that'll be insane. But, you know, they're not going to survive past this turn, right? <laughs> I think. Yeah. At this point, I think it's too easy for Jab to remove it. Well, especially with the Harvest Golem, though. Uh -huh. and Ezreal, like, it's just too easy. I guess you do so, kill these. Do you trade off for the second Hob Goblin with everything here? Or oh, do you oh. just go face... But you have a night juggler to trade into it if you want to. Mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, I, I, I think you do. Because mm -hmm. like you could get blown up by like you know Enorotrons. Yeah. That's basically, become a three four. That's pretty insane. I mean, you did see that last turn. There was no one attack minions, but still, I think he just you know hype channels draw into some one one attack minions. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, there uh, you go, Enorotrons. Speaking of devil. Mm -hmm. Well. It's an awkward turn for Hype. It looks like he'll probably just Noitron plus Power of the Wild on, as a 3-2 because right. the hero power here doesn't really achieve anything. All, I mean, you just do one damage to the Void Walker, right? Which is almost irrelevant here. So you're just... I guess you still have to... Uh, I guess you summon the Panther then. Yeah. I mean, Panther doesn't look that great here either because it trades off easily, but, and, I mean, what do you... You know, what What choice do you have, I guess? It's yeah. still it's better than hero powering. Yeah, uh, so it's Panther. Geez. Well, looking pretty bad for um, Heights, but looking all the world better for Jab. He's just going to tap because he's a 6 mana, why not? Uh, picks up Direwolf. It's really good here, I, I think. Direwolf works here, yeah. Uh -huh. Or does it? it? The placement is actually kind of awkward. Uh -huh. But it, it, I think it allows him to trade off his 1-1 one, one token for the 3-2 at least somehow. Well, it, uh, like the thing I is like... The first there, use the Void Walker to proc the D-Shield. Oh yeah, game. you're right. Okay, that would be the best. And you can actually save the ooze, right? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh wow. what? Oh. That is weird. That is a bit of a misplay, huh? Yeah, he just suicided one for three. Oh, well. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, still in a very commanding lead, yeah, I guess. Two Ancient of Lures. Uh, so Hype needs to draw with something to do, and I guess he <laughs> kind of got his wish, but uh, that's something not exactly do, good enough. He would he need a swipe or something. Even right. though swipe, it's even, like, even swipe isn't that good here, so. Swipe is just really, really bad. Like, man, Druids are so bad against, like, you know, comeback mechanics, and Well, yeah. Doomguard has arrived. Um, mm, that's pretty much a lot. I think that's a win already. Yeah, even if it's not, there's... Okay, so it, it is, but, I mean, yeah. even if there wasn't, what's Nation of Lore going to do next turn? Exactly. Against 20 power on your, on the opponent's board. Well, there you go. Zoo is still pretty good, and um, Hype will have to um, choose something as his Hobgoblin that got defeated. I, I mean, I kind of expect it too, right? I mean, Hobgoblin yeah. does take a few turns to ramp up. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if that deck runs Wild Growth or not. Yeah, I, I guess one of the things about Hobgoblin Druid or Hobgoblin decks are they're mm -hmm. incredibly reliant on uh, having board control early, right? Because if you're playing from behind and you have to drop Hobgoblin, it it's like it's almost like dropping a like a raging organ on turn three or something. Yeah, sure. It, maybe even worse, you know, because it it's just, it just doesn't work. Right. Um. So yeah, let's go back to the deck selection screen when we can. And uh, yeah, see so what we have left. So the um, druid is gone, and we do know that the uh, the warlock is a zoo. So uh, yeah, I mean, all these decks kind of seem bad against zoo. I mean, the rogue might be something good, if, especially if you're running like you know double sludge belchers, right? And stuff like that. Uh -huh. yeah. I see a lot of mid range rogues now running sludge belchers, and uh, oh, they really? kind of play similar to miracle of the old days, but. Um, a little bit more minion heavy, I think, and I think that might be a decent choice against Zoo because you still have like the preps and the blood mage and like spell power fan shivs and stuff, you know, coin mm -hmm. SI, uh, backstab SI to deal with Zoo, and then you can kind of ramp into like mid game of like sludge belters and stuff. Mm -hmm. So maybe that'll be good. I don't know. Otherwise, well, yeah, let's I mean, that's, see. that's kind of a blowout too, right? If you have the mm -hmm. coin, like if Rogue has the coin, start starting uh, against Zoo is just a win. So, yeah, yeah we'll see. Um, of course, it's hyped, so he might bring a special Rogue. I, I'm expecting the mage to be something weird as well, like not a mech mage, because mm -hmm. it is hyped. 
So, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, I think uh, Tinker Oil is becoming pretty popular in some of these rogue decks. And Super it's popular. Kind of really interesting. It's kind of interesting to see how um, those games, because Tinker Oil a lot of times is just like a blowout. Like it can, I see Tinker Oil, um, like that card can allow you to kill your opponent straight from 30 in like one or two turns, almost from like no damage. You know, just like Tinker Oil and just go for it with Blade Flurry or something. Well, yeah, that depends if uh, Hype is oh, going to okay. use so, the Rogue. Oh, it, whoa! It? <laughs> so, uh, we yeah, do see that Jab is going to use the um, the uh, coup here. Well, that mm -hmm. kind of happened pretty fast. But, uh, yeah, Jab is going to ban out the uh, mage. And it seems like it's a freeze mage, because we see Alex Strauss and Kona Cold, so... Yeah. Um, decides to ban out the mage. It's smart. Even if Jab doesn't know the Hype's running freeze mage, um, mm -hmm. you can kind of just assume, right, because he picks it into your warlock, like into your zoo. Right, exactly. It, it's not going to be a mech mage. So mech mage is like, not good. I don't good think exactly. Right, exactly. I mean, right. if Hype is confident enough to pick the mage into the zoo, then you know maybe Jab just feels like it's a good counter. Even though, even if he doesn't know exactly what mage it is, he has mm -hmm. to assume that Hype knows what he's doing and picking mm -hmm. a strong deck against the zoo. So, okay. So now Hype will have to um maybe yeah mage is like a good matchup against the zoo. Now he has to play. Either the uh, rogue or the warlock, and I like we, like we discussed. I'm pretty sure it's a rogue because is there any rogue that doesn't run backstab and like flurries and stuff? Like that? I'm pretty sure they all do. Yeah, no. maybe only like the uh, kind of like the backspace or or cold oracle kind of style, right? Some of them didn't run backstab, but mm -hmm. we haven't really seen that as a common deck for a while after Nax came out. Yeah, I think uh, the cold oracle like backspace style rogue kind of died out after. Um, After Bell just came out, basically. Yeah, exactly. Belcher and Hunt <laughs> yeah. Creeper. So. But yeah, just to clarify once again, guys, uh, Jab did use the coup there. And in uh, just to phrase it differently every single time, coup is basically an instant win. So Jab just used his instant win against the mage, so Hype just lost because you know, he got coup. <laughs> but then Hype does have his own coup available. So uh, he could use it sometime, maybe to ban the zoo, because zoo is like one of those decks that just sweep, mm -hmm. right? You know it's zoo, yeah, but it's still going to come uh... through. If Hype's next decks aren't great against Zoo, maybe he'll just use his own coup. We'll see. Um, maybe maybe um, Hype does not want to play Rogue versus Warrior. I'm not sure. It seems like Rogue might have a hard time finishing off Warrior with the addition of Shield Maidens from GVG. Warrior just might have too much armor. I'm not sure. But then you have to get to that point where you have to face against the Warrior. That means you have to beat the Zoo first, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. if you're just going to hold on to your coup for, like, the longest time and not use it, then you're pretty much, you know, destroying mm -hmm. yourself. Okay. So, yeah, it, it, is a, it is a rogue against Zoo, and no one used coup, so... Yep. And there you go, Belcher! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so go. it is. And Violet Teacher as well. Um, we do see Jab is playing the Implosion version. Right. That was popularized by Sixa. Of course. The Triple Legend yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> also, this tournament, mind you, he did win the qualifiers. Yeah. And, and Jab also, something else relevant is Jab missed his one drop, so. That's kind true. of sucks for Jab, but. You I think know. it might. Uh, oh, yeah, I wouldn't have to throw off corners because uh, Hyped already knows the zoo. So mm -hmm. it's just really key. Yeah. Well, the good thing for Jab is Hype doesn't have a backstab or a side. Probably two of the most important cards against Zoo, but. Mm hmm. And uh, oh, wow, that's a pretty bad turn three as well. Yeah, another creeper. I mean, so you slow. Definitely would rather drop drop like Harvest Golem. I mean, this board is sticky, but it doesn't do enough damage, right? Like after turn yeah. three, Zoo having two damage on board is kind of weird. But at least you can have uh, you can threaten Defender Vargas or something. Mm -hmm. Well, here as hyped, I mean, what do you realistically do? Well. We do see that as Dr. Boom in his rogue as well. Right. Um, I don't know. I think he's thinks, thinking about coining out the Violet Teacher. But then, you know, it might just die. You're like power roaming or explosion. Implosion? Implosion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. maybe... I guess um, it's a second pass. Just gonna Dagger pass to save his yeah. coin. Wow, slow opening for Jab, but actually no, not not a very good opening for Hype as well. Yeah, so no. it's actually Neither pretty uh, great opening. 
Alright. So now the implosion your own... I guess you never implosion your own dudes against nah. the... <laughs> I mean, you have... That, that's that's pretty bad. That's, yeah. yeah. Let's establish a 4 4 that deals 2 damage to the face. Seems fine. Sap, not a good pickup, I think. I mean, there's no target here where Sap is that great. In fact, Sap is one of the worst cards to draw against Zoo, like, forever, right? Like, there's mm -hmm. never a great target for Sap. Like, oh, but you don't here's really a want a good, Sap yeah. Her. Mm -hmm. yeah, here's a great play, though. Like, uh, you know, prep Eviscerate, summon two one ones. You can also prep right now and Sap is. Actually, you can sap a spider right now. Blade flaring, right? You no, know, you can he sap can... a spider, right? It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. But you can like, like I said, that sap is like really the... bad. Just uh -huh. use it as soon as you can. Okay, so he does just sap the spider, and then oh, that's maybe a lot he's of gonna dudes. hero power. Yeah. He's not, oh, he's wow. gonna hold on to the hero power. It makes sense because when you hit the spider, it kind of like increases the power for the zoo player, right. or they have two one ones after. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, this is so many, so much board control for Rogue that um, it's so hard for Zoo to come back, especially when Hype can follow up with a Sludge Belter next turn, or even just a Blade Flurry or something. So what do you think Jab will do here? You could use the Knife Juggler right now, but then you look at the Knife Juggler and you look at Implosion, and they're like, this is like insane uh, six mana turn, right? But you're at five right so, now. Yeah, he I mean, he death rattles and be done with it, right? So many mm -hmm. possibilities. If you drop Doom Guard, you can take out the Violet Teacher, but then you might lose your strong knife juggler combo. Right. Well, he's gonna... so it looks like he's going to juggle this turn. Right. Just gain value off of that card immediately. So let's see if some dudes die here. And uh, no, that's in the face. No. Oh wow! Oh, wow. The Hex worst is really unlucky. Possible. Yeah. I mean, I think you'd rather even. Uh, juggle the Violet Teacher here than the face, right? Probably. Because you have an explosion next turn for the for the Violet Teacher, so any damage you get is kind of relevant on it. So, like, um, you know, I'm pretty, we're pretty much assuming that the uh, Knife Juggler is going to die here. You, the, Blade Floor is um, not so not that bad here, but you have to kind of, like, you know, have the Violet Teacher hit the Harvest Gun first and eat a knife. Uh -huh. and then you have to hit the Knife Juggler with your own weapon and then kill everything. Yeah. Knife. Maybe um, Hype is going to save it for next turn, though, with Azure Drake. Oh, yeah, with you're right. Azure Drake coin Blade Flurry and just yeah, uh, the develop the Belcher this turn. Right. But you know, once you clear the board, there's not much of a reason to Blade Flurry after. So, you know, maybe I'll just go coin Dr. Boom. In fact, that seems even stronger. Uh, you're right, yeah. <laughs> coin Boom. Okay, so... It looks like Doom Guard here. Uh, oh, all these it. cards. All these great cards. You can, I, I guess you have to kill the Belcher immediately. Because I mean, you, know, yeah. you get a nice uh, attack on the slime with the Harvest Gold this turn, so... All right. Oh, wow. I, that's, um... Is that? Is no, that it's, not really, it's not that exciting right now, actually, right? Mm -hmm. Coin I guess boom it is doesn't even matter. Maybe coin boom is better. You know, if you use your coin, you actually get um, an extra one one anyways from your right. teacher. So you can go coin boom and trade for the doom guard, or even leave, leave up the doom guard and just uh, trade with the leper gnome with your one one. Oh, Azure Drake. So there's going to be a Blade Flurry here? I would assume so. I mean, what, what is he looking to draw? Was he looking to draw like a... He couldn't have drawn anything that could have, he could have played. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess the Blade Flurry lines up fairly well on the Harvest Golem as well here. And maybe... And, uh, okay, so you can clear the board. Or do you? I guess you can go face here, why not? Mm -hmm. I guess it doesn't matter since the Dim Guard is either going to trade for your Drake or your Violet Teacher next turn anyways, and you get to have three extra damage this way. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking really bad for Jab. He just had to play behind the whole game. Well, this implosion uh, is going to pick four, but all this, cool, this cool, fan cool. is just going to, like, demolish all Oh, yeah, it doesn't even matter, huh, because of the fan, so... <laughs> Definitely have to trade for the Azure Drake. Yep. 
Fan is going to kind of be a blowout here. I wonder if Fan is even better than just playing Dr. Boom. But probably it's better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, this is like the turn to Fan, so... Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah another Fan. You can actually wow. SI too. Right, why not? You, do I mean, you, you always kind of want to clear Zoo if you can, because right? there's so many minions based on having the board out, like Dark Iron Door, abusive and stuff, power roaming. So, well, another Ooh. Doom Guard. Not the worst, but I think it's an egg turn. Oh yeah, that way you can uh, maybe pop the egg with your Direwolf next turn. Right. Well, uh, ooh! <laughs> That's the first time we've ever seen that card in any tournament, uh -huh. really. Wow. Actually, I actually kind of predicted that all the rogues would use Trade Prince eventually. It's just if Rogue ever became popular. Mm -hmm. Because Trade Prince seems really strong, like the actual card. Um, not even just the ability, but just the stats of Trade Prince seems pretty crazy. It's a 6 mana for a 5-8. Um, right. Which is already as strong as kind of Boulder Fist Ogre, right? Which is six mana for six seven. Like it's just like it's shifted a little bit into more more life and less damage. But um, you you kind of even get the ability for free if you compare it to Boulder Fist Ogre. That's right, but then it, the ability is kind of like confusing to some people, right? I mean, it definitely confuses me because the thing is like I read it as your opponent can get one extra mana every time they cast a spell. So I think it's a pretty good against Zoo, but then you still get a copy of it. So. As long as you don't die to the drawback, like you uh -huh. can do something cool with it. Definitely yeah. one of the most confusing cards. Because mm -hmm. they can they can cast a spell and get a coin every time, um, yeah. but you know you get their spell, <laughs> so who knows? I guess it depends. Yeah. Well, um, this is also a pretty good fan here. I'm pretty sure the bombs are. Wait, actually, this no, he doesn't have lethal yet, huh? Not I, quite. Maybe if the boom bots line up right. Um, it is, right? Because you can do Deadly Poison and do 11 damage from your your Boom and your 1-1 one, one and your Deadly Poison. So I guess he's just seeing. Like, he's Hype's going to attack and see how the Booms go. Because uh, if that's he gets, like, a Boom for 4, then it's lethal. Wait. Did, wouldn't it make more sense to hit the Wolf the one, one. Yeah, I think it, it does. I don't know why. Like, I, I know, because of more targets that. hitting this instead of face, right? I guess that's the only reason. But if you face for four, you win, too. That's right. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's still going to work out. Uh, the, uh, the Doom Guard is going to go down here. Flame Mib is not a card you want to see. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even want to play. Flame Mib is not a card you want to see. <laughs> so, I guess you kill yourself now, right? I mean, yeah, you play Flame Mib, you die. You don't play Flame Mib, you die. Yeah, you so, can't just. Pass, so. Oh, there you go. I'm just gonna take uh, another game, really. Uh, but of so course, um, uh, Hype still has a coup, so he's actually uh, way ahead, even though the decks are similar, because uh, yeah, Hype can just use it anytime. I just need one more win, and he will uh, take away the series. So, what, what, what does Jab have left? He, has, he should have two more decks left, but Hype can. Ku one of them and get yep. the better. So it's so. Hunter and a Warrior. Uh, Hunter and Warrior. Okay. Against Rogue. Against hmm, Rogue. I wonder what's better here. Do you want to play against Warrior more or Hunter more like, with the Rogue? Mm -hmm. I mean, he did see Belcher. Right. So maybe so... Rather Warrior. But then it seems like it's good against both matchups then. Belcher is like such a strong card against both. That's true. You might feel that Rogue doesn't have enough damage against Warrior. Um, mm -hmm. Belcher's kind of defensive card a little bit more, and Warriors can get a lot of armor now. But... Right. Hmm. I sure. think uh, the Rogue is actually a bit better against Hunter, because you're running like double fan. Uh, you're also running like... This, this that, trade prince, is, is, see, that's the thing with Trade Prince. I don't even understand like what it's good against. You know? <laughs> I think it's just like a big body with a slight upside, like really okay. efficient. So right. I'm not sure if it's like super specialized against anything, but um, it it kind of does protect itself against things like execute and shield slam. Because mm -hmm. well, I guess I guess shield slam is pretty useless for rogue if you get the shield slam, but 
it kind of protects itself from execute because I think the execute for you is better than the coin for them. Right. But they oh. also get a free execute, right? Because of the coin. Uh -huh. they get yeah. <laughs> I guess execute, execute's yeah. free anyways, pretty much. One oh, minute. okay. Yeah, one is, one is free, guys. See? I'm not the only one with like <laughs> one, one goes two. Sure, uh -huh. is free. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Alright, so I'll uh, get into the match as soon as it's ready. Watch and um, maybe Hype will use his crew now if he really wants to face against a certain matchup. He also has a Warlock left too, which we don't know what it is. Yeah, so he might be that. It's looking me. I, I'd actually predict it's probably Handwalk. Mm -hmm. So then he doesn't want to play against Hunter, right? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh. So yeah. Oh, there you go. So yeah, Hype is gonna kill out the hunter. Uh huh. Enforce the warrior. Enforce the and warrior. we did that's see it gets pilot of shredder. I guess that's pretty common in hunter nowadays. Pilot mm -hmm. shredder. Because that's actually a death rattle as well for Undertaker. Yeah. So Jab has to actually use his warrior deck right now to beat both the rogue and the warlock. Uh, mm -hmm. It's gonna. It's a pretty tall order, especially warrior against the. Um, a handlock as well. Like, sure, it might be able to win this match because you know Rogue uh -huh. only has like X amount of damage, I guess, something like that. But, I guess uh, it depends how Jab tuned his warrior because if his warrior is like super anti handlock with like double BGH, it's gonna have trouble against the Rogue, right? Because BGH is kind of a dead card there. But if it's good against Rogue, then it might be bad against handlock. So, well, I mean, I, I think right now in the meta, BGH is never dead, <laughs> right? You can just put it <laughs> yeah, in. that's true. Yeah, it's it's just, just put Doctor Boom. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, we actually saw Doctor Boom in uh, the Rogue, anyways. Yeah, that's true. So uh, I guess Warrior is um, is not that bad. I guess yeah, Hunter it's is like doable. Worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Hunter is worse for the hand uh, for the for the Warlock from Hype Size, so he'd rather take this instead. But yeah. not undoable for a uh, Jab in any case. Mm -hmm. So not the same. Yeah. We'll wait, uh, wait for the game uh, to load. And of course, guys, uh, this is the Pinnacle Tournament, the day one. We have uh, four matches today, four matches tomorrow. And of course, the playoffs will happen on Sunday with five matches. Uh, they're playing for $5,000. Uh, and uh, we're going to have to see the losers after this. So uh, whoever loses this series will be playing Firebat immediately after this match. Um, that will be something to watch out for because whoever loses that series is out of the tournament. So um, definitely an important one. Nobody wants to be in the uh, losers brackets. Yeah, that would be terrible. Yeah. Well, hopefully the game will load soon. They're just starting it up, I guess. There you go. Okay, so it is Rogue vs. Warrior. Oh, we see Harrison Jones. That's a good card against Rogue. That's insane, actually. Mm -hmm. Especially against Oro Rogue, but I don't think Hype is playing with the Oro Rogue. He's kind of like playing like a Tempo Rogue. With like oh, oh, and oh man, good cards against against the uh, warrior. Well, that that so, is the card you want, right? <laughs> Can you not scratch that in a gohow? <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream, right? Destroy <laughs> the a minion and their weapon. Oh wow, yeah. my lord, that, that's pretty sick. All right, well, um, turn three for hype is not really insane. He has to choose which battle cry he wants to like. You know, throw away, I guess. I don't think he wants to pass this turn. Maybe he's looking like he might even pass. Oh, maybe he's just gonna attack the armor smith and heal for one. That way he doesn't technically waste the battle cry on the horse here. Sure. Yeah, no, that, that, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. Especially since uh, it takes it down to a 1 3, which means that he can trade with the first or next turn if it survives. Right. And of course, the um, most OP card in the Warrior deck is going to punish him, Fire Warrior. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. is... There's no way to sabotage this, right? You have to wait for... Yeah, you can't combo that out. You want to kill the combo. weapon. Mm -hmm. You definitely want to sabotage... Like, sabotage is mostly used for the minion, I feel. Probably it's still not the weapon. So you still want to sabotage, like, a big minion, something like, you know, a Ragnaros or something. Mm-hmm. Well, oh. does get to have his best four drop here. I think it might be his only four drop, and um, my teacher is it should be really good here. It's kind of hard to remove. Uh, if he if Jab wants a death spite to remove, he has to like waste this fire to Warax in a way. Well, um, using execute here is perfectly fine. I mean, using execute is like against the rogue. 
There's not a lot of targets that are good against it. Yeah, Rogue Strand Rogue Strand don't have like huge minions, right? They're all like mid range, like a size and like mm -hmm. three threes a lot. Yeah, here's a good turn. You are a fan of nice for two. Yeah, it's fairly nice perfect. Clears out the board. Um, also puts a 1-1 one, one on, on the board where you kind of feel bad uh, attacking the Blood Mage with your War Axe. It's kind of like a waste, so... I mean, you can Cruel Pass Master the 1-1, one, one, but then you're not really using your mana too well. I think I'd expect to see a Sludge Belter here. And, and just punch the 1-1? One, one? Do you ignore it or do you punch it? Uh, I don't know, like, this looks so bad if it eviscerates it, right? Mm -hmm. I but, think you punch it, to be mm -hmm. honest. Yeah. I mean, Viserate can remove it anyways with the hero power, but yeah, then then he has to use the dagger as well. Okay, so he chooses to save it now. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> There's still there to proc the sabotage. And you can't, it, yeah, you can't do it just yet. That's kind of sad, actually. This might be an okay one, right? Sludge Vilter and a weapon. But maybe you're trying to get something even better. Maybe later on in the game, though, it might be hard to get both. Because, say right. you sabotage the Ragnaros, they might not have a weapon by then, so... But then, isn't it that really that bad? Like, four mana kill a Ragnaros? I think that's completely No, bad. that's not bad either. Yeah, I mean, do you do have BGH as well, so... There's a lot of options. Does he, oh, he's just gonna sabotage here, just, uh... Just, like, a naked sabotage, I guess? Just to kill a Sludge Belcher, maybe. Interesting. Uh, like a four mana fire damage spell is not that bad, I guess. I think I think it's it might be better to just uh, deadly poison plus SI, right? That seems to line up very well because you can remove the sludge belcher with that combo. Oh wow! Oh, so he's gonna do that. Oh right, wow. Okay, so if you sabotage, you can remove the uh, slime with your what cure power and your blood mage. Sure. I wonder if he was playing around Harrison Jones. Because, oh, really? I don't know, because the Deadly Poison SI seemed to line up perfectly. It did? I, so, no, like, I mean, the slime still, was still there, and it's going to be annoying because of the Deadly Poison, right? You don't really want to mm -hmm. Deadly Poison hit a 1-1 one, one slime, because it's going to trade for the Thalnos, right? So. Yeah, and then you have the you have the perfect uh, target for the War Axe after, too. Mm -hmm. So I guess it kind of makes sense to just, to just sabotage here. And... Yeah, there actually is a Harrison, so would have worked out pretty bad. It's actually kind of weird for Jab, right? Because he has the, his only kind of proactive play is Harrison, but then you're Harrisoning not a very okay. good target. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you still get the draw, but um, you know maybe you want to save Harrison for a better opportunity. But if you save Harrison, what are you doing this turn? You're just passing. That's yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? Yeah. Seems really I think bad. every time I've played Harrison against Rogue, it, you can run into weird situations because, like, Rogue is a weapon class, right? Their hero power is the weapon. But the problem with, like, saving Harrison is Rogue almost always, like, combos the Deadly Poison with the Blade Flurry. So every time you try to, like, snipe their Deadly Poison, a lot of times you can just never get it. So now the Harrison is even more dead. <laughs> There's no <laughs> weapon. So, um,. I guess you have to kill this Dr. Boom, so you just want Whirlwind and Execute. Execute. That seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah, seems and now, you, you, your Harrison is still stuck in your hand. I feel like exactly. it's so bad. Exactly. Jeez. Oh wow, using Shield Slam before Execute because he has a Taskmaster. I guess that's right. Makes I think sense. Whirlwind maybe? Yeah, that makes sense. He's not using the, um, the Execute. He's using Shield Slam instead. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I guess it depends which one he'd rather have. Um, I guess he has a way to proc execute with Cruel, right? But he's right, losing exactly. armor, so. So, um, snap rag play by height, and, um... <laughs> oh, I'm surprised there's no yellow rag counter. Wait, are you really surprised? <laughs> I dev. Really? You would have done it. I don't know, it seems like you have to kind of risk it here, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Oh, you have a sludge belcher follow-up. I, 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 guess, I guess it makes more sense if you actually have a belcher follow-up. Okay. Well, a double eviscerate, that is uh, a lot of damaging. So, uh, what do you do here? It's also kind of. Oh, actually, no, it's really good. You can backstab the um, the uh, thing. 
the, 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 the what do you call that again? Belcher, and then you get your Belcher. Kill. Yeah, and, and then you can, can double, go, double SI, remove everything. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, this does <laughs> leave the deadly poison vulnerable to heresy. Right, but I mean, you can't really play around that. Your opponent didn't drop Harrison for the longest time too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this will be a nice Harrison turn probably. Um, and the Warhouse is gonna do something too. Oh, but you have Doctor oh, Boo. Do you play that instead? <laughs> Doctor Boo like, is always so appealing. He's it's like there's almost never a bad time to Doctor Boom unless you're gonna die the next turn. Mm -hmm. But Harrison seems to be a bit better here. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Wow. It's gonna go with, uh, entirely different form. I guess it looks bad um, for us because we see the big big game in Hype's hand. But you know you don't really expect Rogue to run big game mostly. Not really. Or maybe you do. There's just no standard Rogue now, so. Oh, that's unfortunate for Jab. He'd rather have his um, Doctor Boom big game than the Ragnaros. At least he got lucky with the Rag shot. I wonder if Hype is going to. You know, use his weapon here and read dagger. I guess he's saving it for deadly poison, but I mean, for a uh, blade flurry. So does Harrison come out now? I mean, wouldn't it be a oh, time? Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because Harrison is kind of weak, right? But like Doctor Boom, it looks kind of weak. Strong. So we're looking back at when Jab could have Harrison a one-one weapon that would have been fine, right? Yeah, I think it, it, last turn was big too. The Ragnaros, just because of the. Just because unfortunately there was a big game, but right. Jeb does decide to go with uh, Doctor Boom here. Just because Harrison, it seems like unless he draws something really good, immediately the Harrison doesn't contest the board. Oh, well, I think that you could sap this boom. and just give your opponent more Boom bots. Oh man, I I guess it uh, makes sense. Wait, wait, does <laughs> have that lethal? No, not quite. Right? I mean, this is uh, only eighteen damage. I think he will sap though, just because he's so close to lethal that right. just pushing tempo at this point with two eviscerates in your hand. I would definitely expect the attack with the weapon at this point. I would so too. Right, because you're so close to lethal that you want to push some damage. You can attack and then make another dagger for next turn. Yeah. Okay. So what he's... if Jack draws a whirlwind? Is that, is that good to whirlwind? Well, yeah, you can see the bombs fly everywhere. Of course it's good. <laughs> oh, now it's good for sure. Oh, no, no, you don't have to whirlwind. You drew the Akala, so you can't draw a whirlwind. Yeah. Um, so what can you do here? I think he's going to have to uh, Harrison here to draw into something. Oh. oh. So Grom is going to come down here. He's going to do that. Hopefully this kills the BGH yeah. or the slime. Because, oh, the one! Oh, chance, the one is okay, chance. right? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that is sad. I think. Wait, are you dead? You're not dead yet, right? You can armor up. Two eviscerates is eight. That's 12, 13. So he's dead. Unless he can't oh, combo. What if I draws an unplayable card? Like an Alex Strauss. <laughs> like Alex Strauss, right? <laughs> <laughs> you would yeah. say I was trying to be in this deck too. All right, that's playable. Because I assume yeah. every draws would just be used for combo, right? So. That's right. Well, Alex Strauss can't be used for combo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Well, so um, just... there you go. Uh, Hart does uh, beat the warrior, so um, yeah, good, good coup by him to uh, ban the hunter, and he's going to advance to the winners, where he's going to be facing against um, D two. Uh, but then, of course, before that, the next match will be Firebat versus Jab, and it's for their tournament life. Uh, whoever loses this one will be unfortunately out of the tournament. And whoever wins will actually move on to the quarterfinals uh, in Sunday. So, uh, yeah, that was a pretty uh, interesting. Okay. So we're gonna yeah. be right back, guys. Um, we're gonna take a short break. Set up, set the uh, set up Firebat and Jab as well. You're watching the Pinnacle, and we'll be right back.
And we are back to the Pinnacle Tournament, of course, casted by me and Maz and Strife Girl. Uh, and we'll have to see the losers brackets now from uh, Group A, which is going to be between uh, Firebat and Jab. And whoever loses the series will have to unfortunately exit out of this tournament, will be the first one to exit out of this tournament, unfortunately. <laughs> and of course, after this series, we'll go to the winners and see who qualifies directly into the semifinals. Uh, that's between uh, Hyped and uh, D2. Yeah, so a lot of interesting games still. Um, Firebat versus Jab. <laughs> we have some, I guess, interesting decks, right? I mean, Firebat right. was running like Dark Whispers, and Jab has uh, so, some like Neptulon Shaman. We have to see like some of these matchups, like that are almost never seen. Yeah, I guess so. Like, the Shaman against anything, really, is a matchup that we never <laughs> see. <laughs> I guess, Usually. Yeah. yeah, but, I mean, we just saw the Shaman just got crushed by, like, you know, uh, Blood Knight and Hobgoblin. It seems like if Shaman draws mm -hmm. every answer every time, mm -hmm. uh, it, it just works out really well. But if it just kills himself, it just kills itself, right? It's kind of a problem yeah. with, like, Miracle Rogue as well. Okay, so here's the matchups. Why do you think Shaman is so rare now? I don't know. I guess I haven't really tried it that much after a DVG, but right. I never see Shaman anymore. Well, I mean, you look at all the new cards Shaman has, and it's, they're all kind of situational, right? I mean, are you really going to put Ancestor's Call into a deck? If you're going to put Ancestor's Call, it would be Ancestor's Call Shaman deck, right? It would be uh -huh. like completely different. And it's really hard to build one deck that's kind of like that. Yeah. I wonder if anyone's uh, made like an Ancestor's Call like combo kind of deck. Because we see, I think we've seen a like Nerea play an ODK warrior, right? Mm -hmm. And you can actually kind of do something similar with Shaman, maybe, where you with answer the some, Yeah, and then Malagus and just <laughs> go ham or something. Yeah, I but, guess so. But uh, Firebat decides not to bring a warrior, actually. Uh, we saw that in the previous match. And uh, I don't know. It seems like um, seems like Jab... I, I feel like Jab has the upper hand here with the warrior and the Shaman. Because I think Shaman does really well against uh, basically all of Firebat's lineup. And Warrior is good against Hunter. So I would be actually, mm -hmm. just based on the matchups, giving the edge to Jab here. Shaman has always been really strong on Druids, specifically, yeah. right? It's like kind of like a, one of its specialty matchups. Just because, uh, uh, I guess, Hex and Flame Tongue Totem, just the hero power, just, you know, eventually you just have more control. I do think that seems Shaman is hard to win against, against Paladin, though. Because, uh, yeah. Seems like there are hero power counters here. The hero yeah, power does counter. Ones, I mean, yeah, you the can, yeah, can run some... over your like your. Kind of, whoa! What happened? <laughs> whoa! Okay, we see a coup already from um fire. At, uh, is, yeah. Okay, Jab uses coup shaman against warlock. Wow. Shaman against warlock. Yeah, 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 actually, yeah, yeah. Jab, Jab did use the coup because he did have the defeat screen. So, wait, what? But what? No, wait, 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 wait. Do you want to play Shaman against Handlock? That's or so not? weird. Yeah, Jab actually banned out the um the Warlock. That is so weird. Well, because usually that's like a matchup that Shaman's liked, right? But I think recently it's getting worse and worse for Shaman now because of cards like Antique Healbot, I think, is a mm -hmm. big one. Dark Bomb is really big. Like before, um, they had All a hard right. time answering your like Flame Tongue Totem. Because you don't really yeah, want soul fire. That's really very but, weird. Yeah. I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm you're bringing sure. Shaman to counter all these popular decks, right? Like, you know, Dru like, uh, Druid and uh, Warlock. Stuff like that. I guess this against a Warrior. Shaman's always done good against Warrior, too. Who knows? Well, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Well, if you're, right, if you're gonna have, you know, enough guts to bring a Shaman deck, then I guess you know what you're doing with your lineup. Yeah, and yeah. maybe Jab is just like, okay, I don't want to play against Warlock ever. You know, just okay. ban it for the rest of the tournament. Uh, okay, okay, maybe. Maybe because Jab knew that Firebat's Warlock is Handlock, because Firebat played it in this tournament already. Mm -hmm. So he still banned it. I mean, he like maybe sometimes you think it's Zoo, and then maybe you don't want to play Shaman versus Zoo because that's actually a really hard matchup. I think that is really hard, but uh, I'm pretty sure that people are you know looking at it, and I'm pretty sure that he knows that Firebat. Is yeah. No, because Firebat played it already. I guess if you yeah, he played it. Yeah, that's true. So um, we'll get the second game set up. Uh, yep. Jab did use the coup, which is basically a free win uh, against uh, one of the, your opponent's matchups. 
So a shaman is in the face. One out. <laughs> I, I, I guess. Pretty. Yeah. It's still really weird. I mean, I, mean, I we didn't really get to see. To... Wait, sorry. Go ahead. Maybe it's like he just wants to boost his morale. You know, start out with the win. Just <laughs> oh, okay. one out already. Because wow. the effect one just yeah. destroys the warlock. Mm -hmm. That okay. fire bat's playing from behind the whole series. <laughs> okay, or he could just use this thing right now too. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be instead. Uh, you know, fire bat's gonna use a double blood uh, knight paladin. Oh. With Doomsayer! Doom wow, weird. Oh, I remember Farah played this deck against me yesterday. Oh, really? Streaming. So yeah. Was it good? I don't know. I think I played it <laughs> once, but... I don't know. I mean, it should be good against Shaman, right? Because your hero power can swarm the totems. Right? I mean, you'd rather have 1-1 one -one dudes than 0-2s for the most part. Well, true, and the sh only way of Shaman clearing the board is Lightning Storm. Lightning right? Storm, which yeah. isn't that great against Mustard because you overload. It's not a counter. I guess okay. you get to clear other things, but... Okay, yeah, you're so not we'll really see. trading a 3 mana spell for a 3 mana spell, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so we'll see. Um, he, I guess the debate here is whether you go Horus Golem or Feral Spirits. Mm-hmm. I think you harvest golem because uh, you can just maybe feral spirits next turn and still have turn six free for your fire elemental. Sure. And uh, you're not you don't really need to protect your um, haunted creeper from the uh, two two divine shield. I mean you're fine if he attacks your haunted creeper, right? So that's right. Yeah. Uh, and you also have the flexibility to use the rock fighter as well. I'm, oh, I'm I think not really that's thinking it. about the other trade maybe because of blood knight. Right, if you leave wow, the really? Push, He's well, thinking that much ahead? That's insane. Because he actually thought about this attack a lot, so maybe That's he was true. actually scared about the blood knight. But, but eating the dude is like so juicy, right? Like, yeah, you know. <laughs> exactly. It's, so deep. it's such a good attack, right? So, yeah. Well, it's like oh, uh, he gets blood knighted. Oh, that is a big creature on the board. Now, and now we've got the Divine Shield. I guess I you're... you attack the creeper because it's a flame tongue tome. If, right, if you pop the... Um, the spider, you can just get wrecked by Flame Tongue, it seems. Wait, but no, no, if you pop the spider, you get wrecked by Flame Tongue even more, right? Yeah, the exactly. Spider in. No, I'm saying oh, he shouldn't oh my God. Wow. <laughs> I'm saying he shouldn't have popped the spider, I think, because of Flame oh. Tongue. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Um, You predicted okay. the draw. <laughs> flame Tongue is still pretty good here, actually. I think so. He can also use Rock Biter, because I, I don't think he can actually clear with Flame Tongue right now. But if he is rock biter, he can clear with flame tongue. With the spider too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you do play your flame tongue, you definitely need to clear because you don't want to leave up your flame tongue vulnerable, right? Oh, like... Wait, that's really interesting. Wait, what? What? Wouldn't it have worked the other way as well? Oh like, yeah. What? what? Sweet. Yeah, so he could have. He could have used the harvest golem to kill the tutu. Yeah, and then rock biter the spider instead to kill the. The um the <laughs> that's so probably weird. Misplay. That is a misplay, yeah, right? Or, or is this something so. we don't, we're not thinking about? Well, you don't want to proc your golem, do you? <laughs> no, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing, right? I, I proc golem yeah. and I proc golem is the same thing. Yeah, no, there's no way you want. You don't want. It. <laughs> I, I it's know. like sometimes it's creeper, weird. right? Like sometimes you might want the two one ones instead of the one, right? Just because like. Say you're setting up for a flame. Yeah, creeper, creeper makes sense, but Harvest Gold yeah. never makes sense. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, I think. Okay, okay, just checking. All right. So now, um, I guess Jab could Lightning Storm and clear the Doomsayer, but then Doomsayer is going to get Im immense value. Mm -hmm. So I guess he's going for a Lightning Storm. Oh, he can just make a totem and just not do anything. Oh, no, no, he's going to go for a Lightning Storm. He's going to clear this. It's just what he saves Flame Tongue. Flame Tongue is pretty important to save, so. Well, it rolls low. Roll. If he got the good roll, he could have pushed in three damage here. Right. Oh, double quartermaster seems so bad here. Yeah, sometimes quartermaster is just like the dead card almost, unfortunately. Uh, oh, cog hammer on the one one still makes it. It turns the hero power into an argent squire almost. <laughs> yeah, that's good. And you can actually kill the leftmost uh, guy, so the flame toning is a little bit more awkward. Uh -huh. but, uh, wow, the Arcus is actually putting a lot of pressure because it, you know, 
it's actually annoying here, but um, this Argus is is a really nice reaction here. Right. Ooh. That's really important. But uh, not really usable, right? Because of healing totem? You know, your opponent just clean this it. turn, but I guess you can just save it to turn eight, right? And combo it together, maybe. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Master. Oh man, this flame tongue totem is gonna keep on shifting and keep on providing plus two attack. Yeah, this is awkward. Very awkward. I mean, I wonder if you can just take out this whole Karen just because of your flame tongue totem. Because you can get fire elemental and mm -hmm. lightning bolt. I guess you can remove it if you want. It's really expensive though. So but many Karen resources. Is so hard to, Karen is so hard to remove. But on the other hand, you're kind of propagating through it through the flame tongue totem. And kind of getting more value that way, or maybe you just let him hit your uh, stuff and then kill it when it's like uh -huh. a good trade. I guess like it's I, I, I can't think see of a good trade here. So it looks like he's trading for this turn. Uh huh. With the lightning oh. bolt. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, and pushing with damage here is actually pretty smart too, right? I mean, your yeah. opponent's pretty low. You're a shaman. You have doomhammer. You win, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He's actually threatening lethal actually. Right, because um, that's 11 damage plus, you know, a couple, like a, a crackle might be just lethal. You that's true. You can crackle and just roll higher, get a spell power totem. Oh, wow. It's going to muster, muster and actually use more. the sword. Wow, he changed his weapon oh. so many times. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I guess he no, I want this one. No, I want yeah, this yeah. one. Okay, so he just wanted to develop his 1-1s, one but while, while also killing the totem. Oh, oh. Wow. Do you do it now? <laughs> what, what else do you do? Yeah, your turn seems bad otherwise. Right? Yeah. The other aren't that great. I guess well, you there you go. go. Okay. Oh, the whole so family's here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, so he he picks up... What, are those good, good Murlocs? Um, <laughs> you want, you're looking for the buff minions, and you're also looking for like the charge, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess he kind of got what he wanted. The one, okay, the... right? He doesn't get the war leader, but he has some nice synergy here, anyways. I think. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. The charge one is actually really good, right? Old Merc guy. Yeah, Old Merc guy is really good, but the problem with playing an Epsilon is that your next turn is super overloaded. Oh uh, yeah. Oh man, what 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 a great call! Oh, okay. Oh, Neptulon's gonna go back to sleep, I guess. Mm -hmm. Barba actually decides to take the damage. I guess it's fine. It's still at 13, and uh. Well, he jumped. has a second quartermaster, right? So he want really wants to use it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Crackle and That's light. So bolt. much damage! And the Merc Eye! Oh, wow, Merc Eye's a charger. That is so much damage. Wait, how? I don't even know. It's not lethal yet. Wait, because you can't play just... anything. Can Jab just. Play the uh, the Murloc that has like, I, sorry, I don't know the names of Murlocs, but the one that splits. In the <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like play the one that splits into two and charge the face for four, and then just and then just crack a lightning bolt next turn. Yeah, oh, that's wow. actually that would have been a play. Wow, oh, yeah. no, he's actually going to he clear the lightning bolt. Right, because oh, you can I... charge for four, charge down to nine, and crackle lightning bolt might be lethal. I don't know. It depends how you roll too. Yeah, that's true, but still. Oh wait, actually no, Krakow has to roll high. But then you can get a... Spell can get a, a Spell her turn. So, yeah, that, that, that's definitely a very interesting turn. Mm -hmm. But now, do you want to do it now? I guess this turn you can charge for even more. You can charge for one more damage? One more, yeah. So how much damage... But then now you've already used your lightning bolt, so... But you have Krakow. Wait, Krakow wait, wait. Still... But now you have three damage on board, too. Well, I wonder <laughs> if that's just all inning, right? You can just Maybe it's going to be all in. It seems, like, it seems like it's impossible to clear this board on, on Jab's side, right? He yeah. can't play for board control. Like, this board is just too big. He has nothing to answer Dr. Boom. I think he just okay. rolled in. Murkai's going yeah. in! Oh! I, I guess you can eat a free dude here. It's really... It's also pretty enticing. Right. It's so there. different, five and six here, because of Crackle. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right? You need to get a little bit less lucky. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> we put it that way, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm expecting uh, Firebat actually to be able to clear this board easily because of the boom bombs. Um, but unfortunately, Firebat does not have the uh, the heal. Yeah. So he what really do you do? needs to lay on hands. Oh, well, I guess you start by trying to see how the boom bots line up, right? It'll be kind of weird. 
Like there's right, no, to... no, no, you... uh-huh. a quartermaster. Yeah, I think you do want a quartermaster first to get the three three to kill the wolf, uh-huh. and then the okay. bomb is a little bit better. Uh huh. And then you maybe you use the Doctor Boom on the five four. Uh, oh yeah, he's... first you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So what if he hits the Merc guy for? I don't know. Less maybe he, maybe he can just use the quartermaster on the Merc guy. Oh, that's right. If it's uh, big bomb. Oh wow, these bombs are just floating everywhere. It's a board clear. Uh oh. So now... If this track goes <laughs> hit, it's gonna be so. It's gonna be yeah. like Spill so powder. salty. Oh no. That's not doing the one. Oh! <laughs> so now he's. That's lucky. Better bro. It's gonna total him up, right? Oh, oh wow. it's Spill elemental too. Oh Wait. my god. I guess you do it, Wait, right? So now, even if you don't win with Crackle, you can just win next turn. But as then how do I beat him next damage. turn too, right? So you can use Earthshock as removal too, kind of. Yeah, so just summon a totem. If it's a spell part, then you go like even crack- better. It's like, no, no. Still crackle a face for sure. 4 to 7? Is it gonna happen? Is it? No! Oh! <laughs> This card is wide. I think that's why Blizzard produced Crackle to like kill a person, you know? It's just like oh, <laughs> like these kind of situations, you know, you, you crackle and you do win or you die. It's like it's so exciting in a way. <laughs> it's exciting, okay. I guess that's one way to put it. I don't think it's exciting for Firebats to get crackled in the face. Oh, that's like well, the I mean, worst way to go out. Someone here is excited, right? Jab's pretty excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, yeah. Um, so now, uh, I mean, um, that was looking really good for Jab, anyways, because it looked like uh, Fireback could, didn't have lethal, anyways, right? Because of the Urshock. So. Right. I mean, he and had then, one draw. He could draw into like a sword or something. Yeah. Leon Hands would have won in the game. Yeah. Fireback is down to two decks, but he does have the crew available, which means he can eliminate one of Jab's decks immediately if he so uh, chooses. But uh, definitely not really good. I mean, Druid is not really good against Shaman. I don't really, I really think Hunter will lose against Shaman, like generally speaking. I think H- Shaman is a better matchup. Okay. So do you go Druid or Hunter then? I don't. Because Druid is weird too against Shaman, right? I think they're both that's... really bad. Although Farbat does have a, what is it, a Spectral Knight, so that's at least immune to Hex. Oh yeah, one that's of, true. One of his mid-range okay. Because some druids are using Sludge Belt turn that slot, and that's weaker against Shaman because of Hex, I think. Right. right. Whereas at least the Spectral Knight can uh, is immune to Hex, and it's not even just Hex, right? It's like Earth Chalk, Lightning Bolt, you know, whatever. Sure. Crackling. It's, it's still vulnerable to one of uh, Shaman's or most Tongue, important thing. Yeah, Flame Tongue. Uh, so I think we're gonna see the Hunter here. We've never seen the Hunter yet from um, from a Firebat before, so it yeah. might be something special. He was playing the Ragnaros uh, Deadly Shot BGH. Hunter, oh, yeah, back yeah. In, back in Kingwin, so it'll be interesting. If, um, well, I think a lot of hunters are going, uh, Knife Juggler and Leash again because, uh, Paladin is pretty popular and I think that combo is really strong against Muster. So okay. I think that combo is also good against Shaman just because their hero powers, you know, make a totem. And as they build the board, Unleash um, gets stronger and stronger. Mm hmm. So, um, yeah, there we go. We are going to see uh, Shaman versus Hunter. Mm-hmm. And it uh, looks like a pretty standard Hunter for now. I mean, those are all standard cards. But he misses one drop. And that's really big because a lot of Hunter came just snowball from Undertaker. And right. missing the one drop is super big. Mm. Uh, Jab's hand is actually insanely good, too. Like, I think opening so, too. Up, opening, up, uh, opening up the spider is... Is like the best feeling for you as shaman against hunter. <laughs> okay. Well, here there's a mad scientist, of course. Two Ooh. or shocks. Not yeah, I mean, the not good, but... best. I think he's gonna use one and maybe just clear to put more power in the board. I think it, I think he should clear. I mean, just trade because his flame tongue too. So having two spiders here is probably a little bit better. Uh, two spiders is better than one. Well, yeah. three is better than one now. So. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Gnomish? It's, wow. Okay. That's a pretty good There's card. There's a lot of draw. Hopefully get spell power to him for him. Nope. Not quite. Still well, now, both good. Earthshocks are gone. Mm-hmm. So Firebat doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Although, Firebat, is there really high. a better target? Yeah, there's, there's not really a... Although, yeah, you'd rather hex time, man. Yeah. Wow, another pretty dead card. Yeah, there's no good target for the bow. 
Uh, we see Farba at least has unleashed the hounds in his deck and has um, has it in his hand. That's really important eventually, but um, mm. yeah, it really sucks to have nothing to do this turn. I think we'll see him just eagle horn the face. Eagle horn the face, really? I mean, it is hunter, right? Like, but Shaman's sitting at thirty health. I don't think you're gonna be winning this mm -hmm. game just by losing. I, I think I think well, you should actually trade for totem. I, I think I you just know. kill the healing totem. I think it's because you have the unleash the hounds in your hand, though. Yeah, but the yeah. totem is like kind of I guess anti. It the Argus, huh? Yeah, I don't know. It feels bad either way. It's just like it could be both Okay, so it just holds it on. All right. Well, it's a pretty easy Gnomish here. Four health is like insane against a uh, Hunter. Yeah, uh, just cards. Oh, there's the Undertaker. A little bit too late now. Right. So well, is the boat so gonna go? For you. And now he's gonna he's gonna kill the one one instead. That doesn't make sense, I guess, with the flame tongues. Cut down I, gonna, I would have liked the attack uh, last turn a little bit more too. Uh, on the, uh, on the, on the uh, healing, totem. healing totem. Okay. Yeah. Just it's, it's just like that. This game is not going to work if you're just gonna f go for the face, right? Especially yeah. with two Yeah. So now so we're gonna see uh, Lothab into Lothab. Lothab? Mm -hmm. Because Flame Tongue yeah, kind of Yeah, Farbat. Yeah, I mean, Jab actually doesn't really have a great answer to the high mains coming out. That's the one thing Farbat does have going for him. Uh, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, though, there is Feral Spirits, which can kind of taunt them out for a while. Yeah, but the bow is going to take care of just at least a little bit. Uh, Farbat's going to... See, looks like he's going to be a little bit greedy and trying to keep the Lothab alive. Farbat's going for um, a little bit more of a board control style here. Because his hand is slow, right? The two high mains, so maybe he's just trying to uh, develop this game kind of strong into these mid to late game turns and then burst at the end. Yeah, so. that makes sense. Oh, he's going to kill the healing totem as well? I guess I... he wants to cut down, on, uh, cut down on the amount of creatures for Flame Tongue and Argus, maybe? <laughs> I mean, he does have a second bow, right? So maybe he just wants to use it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, lightning bolt. But Ooh. I guess the lights up very well on the five three. Oh, I'm... okay. What if what if you just trade your lotha for the high main and bolt and then drop feral spirits, which trades so well against the two twos? Yeah, I guess you could do that. You can also, uh, yeah, you can also lightning bolt too, right? Mm -hmm. That actually seems really good, right? Because you have two. Two uh, feral spirits against two wolves, which kind of line up very good. I guess there's an eagle horn bow, so yeah, there's eagle horn bow. You're, you're not feeling exactly too excited, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's still something. And you clear Savannah, and you go like, "Yes, I killed Savannah, Jaime. I feel so yeah. good." But uh, I, mean, I guess it's just the problem is he has no other good moves, anyways. Right. There's not a lot of competition for that move because your other moves are like dropping man tie totem, which is you know, it's just dying the next turn. Do you drop the flame tongue here just to kill uh, Hyena? On the on the healing totem, huh? Right. I guess you can. You might as well because you have two, right? So you don't you don't want to value your flame tongue totems that high. Like it's likely that this game you have no, like no flame tongue totems that are good ever, because you know next turn your board's getting cleared anyways by the bow, pretty much. Ooh, the piggy. Ooh, is that? that oh, he's gonna. The piggy can hit the face, right? Uh, well, clear. I think the piggy's gonna hit the flame tongue, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, no, he's gonna. It depends on how he trades, I guess. Nah, piggy's hitting the flame tongue. Okay. And why does so finally yeah. develop some board control? It's actually looking really good for Farback because Jab's hand is. Oh, that just got a lot better. But <laughs> also, Jab's hand is just three, you know, like useless cards on this. Yeah, well, that is the card you want to see. I guess the other card you want to see is Neptulon as well. Like, why not? Yeah, because it, it, it actually gives you uh, stuff to do. Oh, a lightning Ooh. bolt. Ooh! That is a good draw. Although he does oh, need checks a little bit more. Using trap. Okay, so he does decide to use the um, hero power. Yep. Freezing trap might have been sick, though, <laughs> against Alec Well, yeah. But I mean, I guess you can't the really hero. pass up your hero power, so. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, this is pretty sick for Jab as well. Like, if he plays the Alakir, sure, you can kill two minions, but Fireback could just bolt it. 
right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean... I guess he doesn't have anything else to do, though. Wait, I wonder if you can try a move, like, save your Alc here for one more turn so you can play it with the lock fighter and clear the high And then crackle face? Oh, no, no, like storm. <laughs> <laughs> just crackle face and win, right? Yeah, That's yeah, how you lose your shot, man. Well, um, yeah, Firebat is a very dominating position here. It looks like he's gonna take this game, unless Jab draws a... Well, pretty much a Hex, right? I think any time you actually get a hit in on the face with High Man, you feel super good. Oh, like, it's a lot of room. Yeah, ever punches you in the face. Ooh. Neptune, a little bit too late because... <laughs> no more loss of taunt, right? Right? Not that I know of. Yeah. Oh. So. Yeah. A bit too late there. What can you do? There's nothing. I wonder. Can I hit the. Check for snake trap? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're putting that on here. You don't have enough. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. He was just conceited. Well, Shaman, uh, Jab Shaman deck is uh, down after grabbing a win with uh, Crackle. I guess that's uh, it's pretty scary, like the amount of burst damage that could just happen. So, um, Firebat is uh, definitely happy about that. We'll look at the list again and see what Jab has to, you know, try and uh, counter the Hunter pickup. Now, once again, if Firebat doesn't like the matchup that Jab is going to pick towards this Hunter, he can actually just coup it and just kill it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, so Jab has a warrior, right? So I think that's um, fairly obvious that that might be really strong. You know, but, uh, you, but you, you have the Druid. I don't want the Warlock. Yeah, but you have the Druid. The thing is, like, you don't want to coup the warrior because the Druid is good, but then Druid against both Hunter and Warlock is kind of sketchy. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I think Jab will pick warrior for sure. I think so, too. But then it just depends whether... Far back coos it because I guess you don't want to coo it for some you know for some reasons right because your druid is good against the warrior right but so then you just don't want, you, you don't want your hunter to die to warrior either I guess you I mean hunter it. that's true like hunter mirror is not that bad and hunter versus warlock is really good like even hunter should version, be good right? against both versions yeah exactly yeah. Hunter so maybe you just do it good against both handlock and zoo. Yeah, that's actually a very tough decision for Firebat right now. Because the war yeah. is definitely going to come out. I, I'm pretty I sure. So. I think so. Yeah, it so is. And uh, Firebat is actually going to play this. Uh -huh. Whoa! Is he playing an entirely different deck now? <laughs> Wait, what? No, no, this yeah. is. It's just kind of slow start last game, right? Yeah, like a very slow start, right? It's insane. No, but it's like... I think I mean, all, hunters, all hunters are probably using these cards, I think. Oh, right. not Clock, uh, but, you know. Me. Okay. Well, here is a um, pretty bad start for Jab because there's no Fire War Axe. So any hand that Warrior has with a Fire War Axe is a bad hand. Yeah, like no matter how good your hand it's like the rule of Warrior, right? No matter how good your hand is, if you don't have Fire War Axe, it's not that good. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. Well, he has the uh, crew Taskmaster. He can um, get a free kill on the um, Mad Sciences. If he uses... You can also Shield uh -huh. Slam, I guess. But you just drew Shield Block. And how happy are you to see that? Not really happy. Oh, oh where went the at? You can clear the Oh, board. here's the play. Yeah, that's cool. actually a really yeah, good play. That, that seems way better. <laughs> Definitely. Seems and, uh, yeah, we can actually see a secret that is activated on the very, very top of the screen. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> uh, So this is actually awkward for Hunter to play from behind. It's always okay. awkward for Hunter to play from behind. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's a super important pickup. So check right. for trap maybe first. Um, the I problem is if it's explosive, you get wiped out here. Maybe. But if it's but snake trap, attack, I'm not really happy. But you have dust bite, so. All right. Okay, it's a freezing. Not that big a deal. You can just replay it. Actually, that's that could be pretty sick. Replay it and then go face with the one one. You can also develop your death fight here because um, maybe you want to get the whirlwind out ASAP right. against the against the uh, spiders. We'll mm -hmm. see though what he does. I guess he's playing death fight. Is he going face here or? Spiders? No, he's gonna clear this. Yeah, that's that's that seems right. Yeah. 
Because now you have a choice to kill something else. Yeah, you can kill something else, exactly. Because if you don't Uh, attack the spiders, you have to go for the spiders next turn. Yeah, that's right. But now the Shredder is not going to be... The the second part, at least, is not going to be killed by the Ruin. That's a fun one. (laughs) It still doesn't matter, right? Because that's why I was playing first. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It it, it will not die. But let's see what this gets. He can still uh, Delcher, probably. Oh, Ooh, is that good? Not that good, I think, right? Is it really not that good? If and then Joseph Card is good, right? Oh, fish! <laughs> fish! <laughs> no, it's not, it's not that cool. Okay, so he gets the fish. He gets the fish, and the oh my god. Boom. Yeah, we were kind of we were kind of theorizing, right, that even hunters are using Dr. Boom now. Yeah, we just use it every single deck, right? Mm-hmm. Why not? Mm-hmm. So yeah, load deb. Uh, there's load deb here. Tests the sludge belcher really well. Sure. And that's really the only play. And the th- good part about the belch, uh, the Lothab is that you're not going to be, you know, shield slammed or executed <laughs> or anything silly like that. The awkward thing is that the belcher doesn't actually kill Nat Pagel. And <laughs> you probably want to drop Sylvanas, right? Yeah, so, but well, if the Nat Pagel draws two cards, that's insane. Yeah, but, but you know, what, what can you do? I, I guess you just use the Sylvanas you're, and hopefully steal the Pagel. Can you really just cruel here? Because it seems too weak, you know. Uh, no, actually, you can cruel your own Belcher and kill the ba- pe- uh, Pagel that way, right? I have no time for games. Uh huh. Uh, just and then, no, and then you have five attack on your really Belcher. Right? That actually looks really good because then you trade with the load that as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would have Taskmaster my Belcher there. Uh, that looked really strong. Well, no fish this time, unfortunately. But it also makes sense uh, because he doesn't have a good way to deal with high main, so it's it makes sense to kind of develop your um, develop your Solanus, right? Because it prevents the high main move. Right. Sure. Because then you can trade on the like say cruel taskmaster, the Nat Pagel trade for let that and steal the high main. Mm. Well, that, that's the thing. Yeah, Jeff, by playing the Sylvanas, he actually saved himself from the high main turn. Yeah. Exactly. Is- and we're gonna see the um the trombone or the rusty horn here on the pagel, so he actually soaks the damage. <laughs> I did so. I mean, that seems better than not. Oh, before. actually, he could bluff freezing trap here. Oh, how about that? Huh. Oh no, it's gonna be the <laughs> rusty horn. Da da da. He can bluff snake trap in a way. Oh yeah, you're right. It has, to, it has to attack the taunter. But what huh. trap is that? Do we know? Yeah, we know, because he played from the hand, it's explosive. Uh-huh. So, um, yeah. It's a little bit awkward. A little bit awkward. I mean, uh, like, Snake is so bad. Freezing is so bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, it's just all bad. Do you, like, double crew master and kill the Lothan? <laughs> You can double cruel the Lotha. Do you attack? I guess if you double cruel, you're not attacking. Oh, okay, you cruel that one and play Acolyte. Okay. So oh, shield. So attack. actually, he just clears the board mm-hmm. and just decides to not attack, I, I guess, right? Yeah. I guess, yeah. Alright, well, there it's you go. It's too weird to attack now because even if it's explosive, it's really bad to attack because then the Eagle Horn perfectly kills your Solanas and you lose your 2 2. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, I, I think that's fine Sylvanas. because your opponent just played a shield slam. The only yeah. thing you don't want to see is a shield slam Sylvanas to take your Sylvana. That would be terrible. Oh, that would be sick, yeah. But you just saw yeah. one, so I guess you can. Wait, but why not just play Dr. Boom? Oh yeah, why not just play Dr. Boom? Wait, he didn't actually play Undertaker either with the... Oh yeah, of course not because the Undertaker will get stolen, right? Um. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. Right. This way, so now Solanus Solanus can... actually doesn't steal anything. Because mm-hmm. Solanus was played first, so yeah, his death will go first. Um, but maybe there's still a way. <laughs> well, I guess oh, if he shield block into a shield slam. Shield... Yeah, that would be big. No. Ooh, not quite. So like, I guess you can attack as well again. Well, unless you don't know what secret it is. So if it's freezing yeah. trap, it'll be sick to attack about uh, Solanas. So I guess right. he's just using these two creatures as as kind of bait for the trap. Because you don't want to get your your uh, Sylvanas freezing trapped, so you try to use one of these creatures. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, over Firebat side, not the most exciting hand, but still a lot of different plays you can do. I mean, you could just trade out the Sylvanas right now and just stop the Dr. Broom. That seems pretty good. This way, there's no value from uh, Sylvanas. Right. So Looks like that's to... what he's yeah. doing. Wait, do you oh, Undertaker first? Wait, I thought Wait, Undertaker get... first. Oh my god, 3, 4. Oh my oh, god. Man. That is yeah. a misplay, right? That has to that be a misplay. Because oh, those no. boots actually grow the Undertaker. Yeah, it does. And he didn't even put the, the web oh, spinner. Oh no, that is a big mistake. Yeah, that so seems one like a... One nine to three, four seems so insane. Yeah. And even oh. though, even that, why not play the web spinner? Spinner. Like, do you really want to save it in your hand? You get, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. King like... Crush, you get King Crush. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's true. It is a kill command thing, but this game, it isn't all, like... Yeah, I can see that being, like, if Jab was super low where you want the kill command, right? Right, so Jab, Jab is, st kill command, Jab is yeah. still at 30 life. There's no way that this game is ending right. soon. So you can and draw not only the... that, like, the West Spinner could also get a beast. Oh, yeah, and you and can just use that beast and kill command anyway. Yeah, that's true. Right. I guess. So now I guess Jab knows it is a freezing uh, explosive trap. Um, yeah. So. You want to punch it? Do you, you punch? You punch it? That hurts. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Ouch! I get, you, you can punch it on Belcher, I guess. But oh my god, that hurts. Take a seven, but I mean, at least it kills it, right? Right. <laughs> and uh, we're probably gonna see Belcher. a kill command here, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, if only Farba had the, the Three, Undertaker. Four undertaker. <laughs> oh, second yeah. kill command. Or even just develop his web spinner the other turn too. Right. I guess I mean, oh I guess he's saving web spinner for the Undertaker, maybe. Oh yeah, I think he do that. Yeah, that that could be a play. I mean I mean he he pretty much said I that didn't hit the mark when uh yeah. he forgot to put the Undertaker. I think you use your boom box because of the whirlwind. You don't want to okay. use your two two. Ooh oh, four. Oh! oh! <laughs> wow! This game just changed! This game just changed! Oh my god! That's Such like. What? Like, Dr. Like a... Boom is, was effectively. A regular. damage, and like the two boom buffs that removed the slime, and the 7 7 that he had the punch. Oh my god! That Dr. Boom was like 20 damage, right? The 7 <laughs> damage from the boom on the punch, right? And you remove the slime, and you get 8. Wow. You're That's right, pretty crazy. Yeah. That is uh, the most value you can get out of that. But hey, he, uh, Jab Note is uh, explosive, so he might just hit the face here. Um, mm -hmm. Wait, do you but not? You do oh, want, yeah, yeah. Oh, you do want to kill the 2-1. Oh yeah, yeah, because it's so low, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and you have a shield main, so as long as you don't die this turn, maybe you feel that you can stabilize. Alright. Oh, Shredder is going to be very annoying here, though. I think you're saving your Timberwolf for Kill Command now. That's that's a call you want to save for Kill Command. Yeah, yeah. Because Timberwolf is, does nothing.